All right, we are back. It is Thursday. We have been making progress in uh, Harvestella, but we're you know we have one <laughs> sorry we have one quest left in chapter three. Uh, but we do have all these side quests that we're working on that we keep getting letters for. Um, so, you know, we gotta talk to Emo, we gotta talk to Crass, um, I'm sure when we- Oh my god, Switch. Um, I'm sure when we do anything else, like go to sleep, we'll get more letters here. Um, so we're gonna focus on that. Like I said, my- my goal in general for Harvestella at this time is to finish the friendship quest as much as possible. And then with the extra time we have, knock out the main stuff. Um, we got smoked meat finally. Um, Woolen feed. Dessert maker. Anyways, uh, my name's Ian if you randomly clicked on the video. And we're just here in the mornings having a nice chill time getting stuff done. I'm enjoying this game. Um, we are very behind on Aethel's friendship quest because I misunderstood how to, um, destroy the, the, um, what's it called, uh, the Heaven's Egg. I didn't just uh, go and get the item to open it up, I actually thought I needed to go do other side stories. And because of that, we are behind. Um, but that also offers us time to do stuff like this. So, we are planting. Um, and uh, very soon, we will be doing the main quest. But, Let's see. Okay, that's all taken care of. Come over here and mine really quick. Gotta get all the the maintenance stuff done first. Especially um because uh um it's autumn IRL and autumn just feels appropriate. I don't know how to make a Clufflaw feed. Like, I think I've done it before, but what item do I put in the hopper to do that? Actually, this is a good thing to double check really quick. Let me see. Harvestella Clufflaw feed. I always get Woolen feed. Um. Stellar wheat, carob, Moroccan corn. Processing tool. So if I do corn in there, I should get Clough Lowby. Oh, you're a fermenting barrel. You're the feed maker. Okay. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think we also have enough money to upgrade part of our house now. So we're doing a whole lot of stuff here. Um. Oh, let me fast travel up. See if our nectarines are done. Which, uh, actually, we... So, we watch, in this household, a lot of Northern Lion. And those aren't done. But the nectarines are. Um, but, you know, he eats a lot of fruit. And there's a lot of fruits that I just have never tried. Just because I never thought to. Like, I recently tried a nectarine for the first time. Pretty good. They're not my favorite thing in the world. Um, but they are good. Um... Am I on the wrong side? No, I'm going the right way. Um... Uh... We had, yesterday, a white nectarine for the first time. Which I like, because they're a little firmer. Alright, oh, this dweeb is up here. Okay. And then... Hold on. If I go back to the water side biome, was there another... Yeah, there's stuff over here to harvest. Um, so like, you know, I've been I've been having a great time trying a bunch of new fruits. We were gonna try persimmons recently, but um, uh, they were sold out at H Mart. Okay, so 
Yeah, sell these. Got a couple of those. Keep that. Sell that. Sell that. Keep the nectarines. Got a bunch of those. Keep the hard lumber, because we use it. And rusty metal. The rest of the stuff... Bam. 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 And then, I don't know if we can make anything new. Okay, so we go inside, check this off, and then we're going shopping. <laughs> and we'll see Crest, because we're only one quest away from finishing her, so that's what we're trying to get done. Okay. Um, so when we finish hers, so we get a cheese maker level 2, but we haven't made any cheese. Oh, you know what? I'm probably dumb. Well, let me try something. Um, we made all this stuff before. Really? Nothing? Not even with the smoked meat? Like, maybe... Maybe for the cheese maker, I can't just, like, pull items out of the ether. I have to... To bring it... There. Because some, like... Some of the, like, cooking and stuff, you can just take it out of the, the bag. We need more milk? Alright, let's experiment. Look, if I bring... If I just take... All of my milks... <laughs> over here, what happens? We can make cheese, okay. So you, you gotta have that with ya. Okay. Now, shopping time. And crest time. I, like, you know, so Estina, best designed girl in the game. But, crest, personality wise so far, she's my fave. Man, it's early. I came in here. Um, I was like, I'm gonna sit down and get some recording done. Thursdays, I only have one student, so I've got a little extra time to hang out. Um, I uh, sit down, go to reach for the Nintendo Switch. Big ass spider weapon. Here. So there's a big ass spider in here somewhere who's gonna eat me. Level three farm. Hell yeah. Please come again. And we still have 4,000 Grillo left, so that means we're going to be able to plant more stuff and make more money and buy more stuff. I don't know if we have any weapon upgrades at this time, but we should check. It's also Thursday Night Football Day. Go Bills. <clears throat> also, make sure you get hydrated in the morning. Come on in. Okay, that's all knocked out. <clears throat> so if we do run out of stuff to do, we can pay that guy 3,000 Grilla. I just hope... I don't think it will, but I hope expanding... Er, uh, ex finishing the main quest for this chapter doesn't gate me out of the friendship quests. Hello, what's going on, Chris? Ah, Ian, you read my letter. I said something important happened. That's right, it's about the patient from before. He just passed away a few days ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Just be like, you couldn't cure him? Wow, it's offensive. After what I found in the diary, I went and spoke to the patient and his family. I proposed the idea of changing his medication to alleviate his symptoms of trying to cure them. I was surprised at how quickly they came to a decision. It, I guess it was only me who was wrestling with that problem until the bitter end. You tried your best. Are you trying to cheer me up? There's no need to worry or cheer me up. I did all I could as a doctor. So there's nothing to be depressed over. I'm a terrible liar. The music is so good in this game. It's hard not to feel underwhelmed every time I'm unable to save someone's life. 
There's never an occasion where I don't fully realize my own incompetency despite doing everything I can to help. Even with you there to help me, there was nothing we could do. It was all for nothing. I don't think I... Hello. Excuse me, is Dr. Cress available? Is everything okay? I'm sorry to drop by so suddenly, but I really need to speak with you. About your brother, right? Look, Doctor, I want to tell you. I'm sorry. Pardon? I'm so sorry, I wasn't able to save your brother. Please don't apologize. You gave my family exactly what we had hoped for. What? My brother was smiling even before he died. Neither me nor my parents expected to see him smile again. He was able to say goodbye to his friends. He spoke to everyone who had ever treated him with kindness. His illness had made him give up on doing a lot of things, but he was able to tell them anyway. It made him easier for him to come to terms with his own death. You helped him do that. Hi. I want to thank you, you know, for giving my brother that time that he had left. You can be proud of that. This is a heavy story for freaking 8.15 a.m. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. There's no need to thank me, I wasn't able to do anything. But I appreciate the sentiment. I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. I'll be heading home now. Thank you for listening. No, of course. Take care. Hey. Can we talk outside a moment? Meet me at the place behind the mayor's house where you can see the sea's light. Okay. Alright. Like, they, they do such a beautiful job of writing the side quests in this game. Okay, wait, I can get there from here, if I go <laughs> here. Yeah, there we go. It's been a while since I came out here to calm down. I've been wound so tight doing research and working on the cure that whole time. How are you- how are you holding up? Well enough, sleep is definitely on the agenda. I'm sorry about what I said before, about your help being pointless. It wasn't true at all. Without you, I wouldn't have found a means of alleviating the patient's, uh, symptoms. What his sister said- where's the other string? There we go. I was looking for the other string for this so I could fidget. I couldn't find it. What his sister said about giving him back the time he had left, that was because of you. So, thank you, you know, for sticking by me. You're a great doctor. I certainly didn't expect to receive words of thanks from his younger sister. I expected her to hold a fierce grudge. She spoke from the heart. Yeah, I think so too. We were able to let the patient spend more time together with his family. It's just like my dad said. Doctors can't cure everything. I used to hate those words. They would push me to never give up. But I had the wrong way around. Because we can't cure everything, that we need to think more about what we can do for the patient. That was what my dad strove for as a doctor. So that's what he meant? Honestly, I can't really say for sure. It'll be a long time before I get an answer. But I finally understand. You hear that, Dad? I'm going to follow in your footsteps. So I'd like you and Mom to keep watching out over everyone. Dim, the people of Leif, and Ian too. And me, because I'm going to keep giving everything I've got. Alright! Man, I can't believe that's not the end. There's still one more quest left in there.
Alright, so now we gotta go to the shrine to talk to Emo. I don't think I've been back here. Where am I? <laughs> End of Eden 12 growth? What the heck was that? End of Eden 12. Oh, wait. A story from the end of Eden. The Eden that sought growth. You are not me. If you keep using my name, then I'll. If that's how we're gonna do this, that's fine. The snake slithers into Eden. The Eden of never ending quarrels partakes in the apple and puts these feuds. He proffered, and so the fighting stopped, and 64 became 32, 32 became 16, until only one was left, and so she too left Paradise behind. So there's like a... I forgot that I was finding books, and there's like a Garden of Eden thing going on here. You know, we haven't fished for a second. I don't think we've ever fished back here. Let's do this really quick. We have the better lure now. A gazing car. Okay. All right. Let's go check out emo stuff. Gotta remember how to get out of town, and I am going the wrong way. All right. Let's get this going. We might. If we're lucky, probably not, because, uh, despite doing a lot of stuff in this game, a lot, not like, stuff happens kind of slowly, but, um, we can, uh, maybe, if, like, two days pass, get, uh, uh, another letter from Crass, which would let us finish her quest, which would be really cool. Okay, so Emo's... She's honestly probably gonna be all the way down here. Maybe. Right, we're looking... She's down here. The Philosophical Hypo Center. Well, I really, I thought this was it. I, she might be one room back, maybe. Oh. Take that. They were definitely no match for us, Hein. Okay, where's my girl? Like, I remember last time I had the same issue where I was like, where is she? Um... Okay, if we go back one. She's at that part where you had to like walk on the left path, and also where we talked to robot guy, I think. Um. Yeah, this is it. She's in here somewhere. I see the blue arrow on the map. It's such a long walk, though. <laughs> also, do I have enough points to level up my job? Nope. Not yet. Alright, Emo. I know you're feeling sad, girl. Ian. I'm sorry for calling you here so suddenly. No need to apologize. Thank you. 
I'm taking a break from singing after what happened. I'm not sure how I can face the people of Shatola now. Perhaps it would be better if things went back to the way they were. Before I ever arrived. You've been dwelling on this a lot. Hi. I can't go back to Shatola. My presence will only remind the people of Lorelei, but if I'm gone, maybe it'll finally give the people a chance to forget her. The ch a chance to move on from their hardship. I think you've got it all wrong. This is the right thing to do. I knew I had to leave Shatola someday anyway. I'm not like them. Humans and sirens can't live together. Our parting ways came sooner than I would have liked, but I should still leave nonetheless. Is this how you really feel? No matter what I do, it's already too late. Even if I try talking to them, they won't understand. If so much as if I so much as mention Lorelai, everybody loves you. They will listen. But you can connect both humans and sirens. Me? You want to do right by both. Mother, walk beyond this dream. Ian. I love them all. The people of Shatola, my family, the sirens, and this is why. I think I know what I can do. I have to at least try. I think I'll get through to them this time. I'll help everyone understand about Lorelai, about the sirens, about me. I'm not ready to give up yet. I'll help you however I can. The bartender will help you. Thank you. I'm gonna give it my best shot. Alright. One step behind Cress's story. A renewed water orb. Okay. There's that. Now, we gotta find a bola to get us out of here. And we can go give that guy 3,000 Grillo to keep going. <laughs> so, well, you know what? We haven't taken a break in a while. So let's do that. Because we, we don't have any Astina questions. I'm sorry, Emo, may I ask something strange? What is it? The bartender at the tavern where you sing, he's not your average fellow, is he? Do you know anything? Oh, well... If you don't want to talk about it, then that's fine. So someone finally noticed. Notice what? I guess I have no choice. I'll let you know about a very special secret I found. Thank you? I think there's been a misunderstanding. I get the same impression, but I also want to see how this plays out. When the bartender's done for the day and the tavern is closed, he makes these jellies. Jellies? He even lets me have some sometimes. They're actually very delicious. But I always wonder why he doesn't serve them at the tavern. Well, he often gives what's left to the cats. That's why you see so many gathered behind the building. They must think of the bartender as their leader or something. Right, their leader. Not only that, but he's really good at knitting. Well, that's a good skill to have. He made all of the ornaments and decorations in the tavern by himself, but he keeps it all a secret. I can't help but wonder why. For some reason, for someone who looks so awkward, he actually sounds pretty handy. I want to know more secrets. I think that's enough. We end up listening to the endless tales of the bartender's surprise hobbies if we're not careful. Oh. You mean you didn't want to know about the bartender's secrets? That's not what I meant. It's just not very polite to snoop in other people's secrets. I'll ask him in person next time. Okay, maybe he'll tell you some secrets too. Wow. Well, Alright. That was quite the engaging chat. Thanks, Hein. Now, get me out of here. Yeah, we actually don't want to leave here fully because the, uh, the, what's it called? Um, city is right near the ocean, so. So we do this. And then switch transport to our cute little guy. And let's get some plot done.
No. Okay, the tavern is straight ahead. <laughs> Now it's gonna be interesting to see how long, how much of this I get uh, sucked into. Because sometimes like these have long, long cutscenes. Yeah, I'll pay. Pleasure doing business with you. I'll escort you whenever you're ready. Just say the word. My name's Braca, by the way. Try not to forget it. Oh, he's in the party. Okay. Heightened powers. Avenger job class. A job with long range physical attacks is used skills to switch between dealing fire and ice damage. Alright, let's go. Ready to go? Ready. Let's move. Hopefully, this doesn't gate me out of anything. Wait, we're going right this second? Yep, this store runs pretty deep. There's a small underground passage that runs just above it. Isn't that dangerous? You knew it wouldn't be, that's why you're here, right? Besides, we can't hope to get anywhere without facing a little danger. Wait just a second. That's no way the Order wouldn't find this tunnel right away. Nah, don't worry. Nobody in the Order knows about this route. I think it was made by people planning to rebel against the Order. Talk like that is now long dead, though. And no one would use it now anyway. This whole place looks like it could collapse at any moment. Even if they did suspect someone of sneaking in here, I think they'd be too scared to follow them and find out. Did you say collapse at any moment? I'm sure that's just a deterrent. Baraka said he uses this route all the time, so I'm sure it's safe enough. Girl's got a point there. Let's go. Oh, look at those guys! Like, we've seen ones that were similar to that, but they were a different color, right? They look more monster hunty here. Divine Seas Light Cave. We're here. That was easier than I expected. It's because I'm always running around in here, and that was to be in for a world of hurt. A world of hurt. We can get to the sea's light from here. You're right, Braca. I'm kind of need to fulfill what we paid you to do. What do you mean, we? If I remember right, it was your friend that paid me. Well, I was speaking on Ian's behalf. Sure, what she said. See? Hmm. Don't you worry, you're getting your money's worth. I've got my own business with the winter sea's light. Don't slow me down. Alright, we've got a fast travel location. And what else do we got in here? Any chests or anything? Hopefully we can find some new ores. <laughs> now, the question is... When I come and come back to here after leaving, how do I get back here? Are you... You're an Earth Elemental. And a gnome? That's a goblin. <laughs> they were no match for us. Okay. Just keep exploring, I guess, for now. This place is probably gonna be huge, because it is the final quest for this chapter. Let's combine our efforts and put this business to bed. Who are we attacking? Oh, there's an earth elemental over there. I didn't even see him. This feels like, in like, Final Fantasy, you would come in here and you would fight your way through and the enemies would be a little stronger than expected, but you'd make it out. And then you'd think you're done. And there's actually... Oh, here we go. A second, like, deeper area that you didn't know about. Like Shinra Mana or something in Final Fantasy VII. Bro's just out here dropping hard lumber. Okay. 
Okay, this is gonna loop us back around to the beginning. That's good. We're finding side paths. Do we do we have a repair kit? We do. All right, make make repair kits tonight. And that got us to a chest. Oh, there's <laughs> a repair kit. Sick. Okay, so. We got that path going. I do think it is time to return to home. And then, uh... We'll come back tomorrow. Well, probably eventually. <laughs> because we're gonna have a lot of, um... Side quests in the morning, I'm guessing. Okay, sell stuff. See you later. It's also gonna take a couple days to upgrade our farm, so... Alright, um... Get sold. 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 Keep everything else. We'll at least have, um... Some, uh... Uh... Money coming in a little bit. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, bedtime. Curl up in bed with a nice book. Sounds great, even though it's only eight fifty a.m. here. Oh, I sold the milk. Oops, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. We're getting milk every day from our animals. The letter from Hein. Okay, we will, like I said, we're going to have more side quests to do, but we have at least started ours. Oh, we got Estina as well. I need to meet with her again. I haven't been able to get that girl from Heaven's Egg out of my head since I got back to town. I guess this whole thing isn't over. I need to go back to Heaven's Egg. I hope you won't mind coming with me. I need your help. I'm sorry for calling on you, but I'm hoping you'd come and speak with me again. It isn't about being head teacher this time. I'd still like your advice. Please be meet in the old step. Not the orphanage. My inspection of the sea's floor is complete, and we should now be able to proceed once again. Won't you come to the atelier when you're ready and join me on my voyage to the deep ocean? Don't leave this long, or I may have to make the solo voyage. Lady Fia Solo waits for no one. I just, of course. I'll wait for you. Provisions. Oh! How are you doing? It looks like you carried out some remodeling. Keep the good work. I sent some props. Try planting them on your new farm. Thank you, Mayor. Okay. All kinds of stuff to harvest. Well, little crops. Looks like some crops are ready for harvest. Thank you, fairies. <laughs> well, little crappies. Stick that in there. Good morning. Your we don't have any meat to smoke. We do we did get some cheese. Please, let me harvest. <laughs> Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. Okay, almost there. Hello, little crappies. Now, plant more of this. Man, my character needs to learn how to, like, bake bread or something. <laughs> we have so much wheat. Um... Fall. Summer and fall. Let's drop these. Um, oh. We haven't done this in a while. Oh, I see what's happening. We want... Oh, well. Okay, next step. 
water. I think of buttons. And now. Okay, so we got really good stellar wheat. Um, we have a billion peppers, so as always, sell those. And we'll keep the better stuff for ourselves. We did the hard work, we should get to keep it, right? Grab this. Go check on our buddy. There you go. Hello. Thank you for the natural wool and the milk. And then we got to go up and see if our honey, whatever the heck it was, has grown. <clears throat> Looks like it has, or if not, it's very close to being done. Not quite. This thing's take a long time to grow. But there is resources here. This is like both the the slow part of the game and also the satisfying part is just seeing it all come together. Okay, back to the farm. And now that we've got cheese. What can we cook that we couldn't cook before? Um, apparently nothing. <laughs> so, let's... Whoever's quest is the most done, we're gonna go work on, which is Hein. So we'll meet him at his atelier. Our inventory has been... Well, not empty. We gotta do that. <laughs> we grow so much grass, so sell that. Sold, 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 sold. Okay. Goodbye, goodbye. 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 Alright. Off we go. Give him a pet. We haven't petted this guy in a while. Alright, so we'll finish up Heinz quest. Um, it'll probably take five or ten minutes. That'd be a good stopping place. And then, like I said, we'll be back to do everyone else's quests as we can. <laughs> gotta take it slow and experience this game at the pace it wants you to experiencing it at, experience it at one hour per day <laughs> all right hein what do you got for me today oh looks like you read my letter I have a long last finished my research I must say I have haven't done something so in depth in some time. I definitely did not expect the order of literature that I did not already own in my atelier. Wow, good job. Oh, hey, the order of literature. My brain broke for a sec. Thank you kindly. The real battle begins here. I have already prepared the Fiasola in anticipation of your arrival. We can disembark post haste. Let's go. Agreed. Now we mustn't keep the lady waiting. We'll soon be arriving at the tracks we believe Fiasolo left behind. I forget how many times I've said this now, but it's uncharted territory from here on out. Stay on your toes, even I can't predict what will happen. We'll be fine. 
He's saying that take some pressure off my chest, I must admit. On we go. How far are we going this time? Till we find a clue of some sort, if possible. Biasola, how far were you able to go? Hmm, look over there. There's something glowing. Let's go and find out. If my calculations are correct, there should be something Fiasola left for us. Dang, what the heck? Where are we? <laughs> we can breathe. And walking seems no different from walking on the surface. I'll never get used to walking on the bottom of the ocean. Oh, what a mysterious place. You're quite right. I think we both experienced a place like this at least once. It's smaller in scale, but it feels like the Coral Shrine. A space where Fia Sola was born and ultimately left behind. Are you saying Fia Sola's, uh... You're quick on the ball. Fia Sola was a siren, just like Emo. Oh, it's all coming together. Hmm. Look over there. Is that a bola? I didn't see this twist coming. You must have been here, Fiasola. You hear a woman's voice in your mind. You made it, Hein. If anyone could do it, I knew it would be you. I made this bola special so it would activate once someone gets close. Which means if it isn't Hein, then well, that would be embarrassing. I prefer that if Hein hears this if possible. Anyway, I'll say it now. Hein, I'm sorry, but I cannot return to Shatola. I have a request instead. Please continue on in my journey for me. I have left the item I found here. I know you of all people will be able to find the future of the past. There is no need to worry. Humans have reached these depths before. You can achieve whatever you set your mind to. I believe in you, Hein, my irreplaceable, one-of-a-kind companion. This isn't fair, you've left me one hell of a request. The ruins of the submarine that once was... Uh, Sophia Sola's... Doesn't mean she's dead, she just decided not to come back. So it would seem. Witnessing it for myself has given me some sense of closure. Goodbye, Fia Sola, my irreplaceable companion. I'll continue on the road you traveled, and I hope you will watch over me as I go. Anyway, gather around, or let's gather the items Fia Sola said she left behind. It's not going to make me wait for another day cycle to see this stuff. Why don't you? I suppose there's no need to tell you. Let's share the load. Honestly, a good twist tying together Emo and Hein's quest together, because they're both kind of from Shatola. Like, Emo is also from the area around it. Home sweet home. Um, I'm glad we made it back. Tired from steering in the submarine, I'd love to collapse new mountain of blankets. But I'm happy to say I have a lot of work to get to. I need to research everything Fia Solo left. Particularly her ship's log and those objects made from unknown materials. Careful not to burn yourself out. Yeah, I'll be careful. It looks as though I'll be shutting myself in my atelier for the foreseeable future. If we make any progress, I'll send another letter. Till then, let's pause our adventure for today. Alright. As we start to knock out their quests too, or start the, right, the other ones will get faster because we won't have as much to do. Like once Cress writes back, that one will just be done forever. But this is a perfect stopping place. Good progress. Um, next time we'll get to Estina and Aesil, and we'll keep on trucking along. But that's for the future.